Okay guys, welcome back to Let's Play Season 53. This is probably going to be a short part because I'm kind of... What? I have a problem. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that guys. We had some technical difficulties. Technical difficulties, yeah. Alright, so let's head left. Whoa. Alright, you got this. Grr, this is I want to go to Wen Wendell, but I can't get in this stupid cave. By the way, this is our new character. Yay! Yay! Huh? You have a fairy that can let us in? You serious? Fuck oh, yeah. I saw that like too. Good thing I didn't follow it. I hated to be possessed by something like that. Oh, gee, thanks. It's you. So, so come on, get her, get us to open the cave. Then you can take me to Wendell. By the way, this is your character. You're doing. I'm the tired of being left alone. Oh, what? My name is Angelica. I'm the princess of. Ah, uh, Altina. Okay, I'll just say, my name is Angela. I'm the princess of, of Altina, but I can never use magic. I'm not entirely sure what that was. I, I think she was sticking her tongue out. My mother was so cruel to me. She was about to trade my life for some stupid mana stone. After that, I just found myself outside the castle. I didn't know where to go, so I headed out into the snow field. Mm -hmm. So, reminding you from earlier, it's been like a month. But, um, so she's from the country that I was spying on Duran's country. When I got to Elrond, the fortune teller said to go to Wendell, so here I am. So she's the princess of kind of his enemy country or whatever. Hey, wait a minute, Princess of Latina? Are you a friend of that Crimson Wizard? You mean Kareen? Kareen? The Wizard of the Red Lotus? Lotus? Don't be stupid. Who wants to be the friends with that guy? He and Mudder tried to kill me. Oh, I see. Sorry. So tell me, this corn, what in the world is he? He used to be just like me, totally useless for magic. Our math teacher, Jose, was always getting angry at him. But all of then, but then all of a sudden, he became the greatest magician of all time, Altina. Now as the right arm of my mother, he's acting all high and mighty. He even goes around and calls me the princess, Angelica. Ange Ange Angela. Angela! <laughs> oh. Thinking about thinking about it just makes me mad. The greatest magician in all of Altena. But I'm the son of the greatest swordsman in Forcina. I can't afford to lose. Uh -huh. I haven't caught your name yet. So you're Durin. Well, let's go, Durin. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was. Like, eh. Alright, press start. Alright, now move. I think it should be. Okay. I think they said it, didn't we? Let's start. Okay, that's good. Um, move, move, move your character. Okay, try moving. Seriously, uh, press select. Try... Wait, did you move? Move. No? What the heck? Is mine, like, not configured at all? I don't know. Uh, let's, let's try this again. I think you double configured your thing. Well, did you say... You double configured it! Try it again. Let's configure it. Okay. We'll be right back, guys. Again. <laughs> uh. Okay, hey, we got it working. Hey. We're two people now. Let's go. Oh, fairy. Sealed by an invisible force. The funniest thing about this is that the, the second player can just run around while I'm doing the text. Yay! Hold on. I'll eliminate the barrier. Okay, the barrier is gone. Alright. Now, I will follow player one for the most part, though, but... Alright, go. Press X. Come on, back off. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can also enter the menu and check. Alright, yeah. 
that's the square. That's the main. No, that's square. Oh, oh, well, whatever. Yeah, we have different controls here, so let's... If you didn't, I did it like the actual one, you can do the control, and you can do it in one way. Yeah, well, I do it usually because to me, X is like square, and X is like, you know, whatever. Usually it's happening. So, yeah. so this is like the main menu, but like the actual menu that you can use to do spells later like, and stuff is a different button. Well, I, oh, that was the menu. It was the menu button. So, what kind of, is there a tab? I need to X. Okay. Or I know it's circle. Well, whichever one would be A button. Then it's the... Okay. B button would be, I think, the run one. Yeah. Alright. Oh, I leveled up again. Sweet! Alright, um, considering I have weaker health than you... Nope. Waha. <laughs> The level grind at all. <laughs> uh, you can do your special attack because. Whatever, no, I do it. Um. Well, we have different control scheme again. I think it's the Why? same. I think it's the run button. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, but remember, um, you have your battle commands and then you have your free roam commands. Oh, okay. there we go. Yes. Alright. So the reason I chose I changed the order of who I chose is that um you always get this person right here, but if you select um someone after her, then you get the per the third person later. Alright. Hurry, hurry! I thought I was gonna die. Thanks. I'm hurry, the cute little girl that lives in the window. Well, what's a cute little girl doing here? It's dangerous. But, but... And more exposition! <laughs> Heath is a nice place who took care of Carly because she had no mama and papa. Grandpa told Heath to go to Astoria and Carly has a bad feeling about that. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, it's almost I, seven. I don't want ha nothing to happen to my favorite Heath. Heath. So Nick helped me escape. Bloop. When I met Heath, a bad man kidnapped him. Gosh. Just for the record, like I told you, there are three separate storylines. There's two... So each, like, uh, basically set of two characters have the same villain. Well, her and the Beast Man have the worst... Like, they're the worst characters in my opinion. And they... And there's no redeemable one between the two of them, and they both have, like, that third option. <sighs> I wanted to go home, but I couldn't get in the cave. Lucky you came along. So I've only completed two of the three storylines, because I never had the motivation to do hers or the Beast Guy. Beast Guy, because he just can't speak. It's like if you made Tarzan the main character of this game. <gasps> I took a wrong turn. And I fell down, in a comedically way. <laughs> and then you came! Oh, dude. That makes me feel so happy. Wendy? Wait. Hold on. Alright. One moment. So, let's be Alright, sorry about that, guys. All right. Yeah, I would have to take the dogs out. Yeah. Alright. Well, I was on my way to visit the Priest of Light anyway. Oh, oh that's Durin. He has a very cutesy voice. <laughs> uh, priest of Light anyway, I'll take you there. What? You're going to see Grandpa? My Grandpa is the Priest of Light. So maybe saving Carly will give you good luck. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Oh. That's a third party member. We're stuck with all these three for the rest of the game. Well, she's a healer, so you don't get her ability until a little bit after, like, a certain point. Victory! Right, so let's go. Over here. 
Now this is kind of an important thing we might want to take care of in the next part, but you can configure the party members to do a certain thing. And that's very important to play in this game well, to be able to kind of you know, strategize how you want your party members to act. What I mean by this, so say you have a healer character, it's probably a good idea that you don't have the healer character always going head first. So you want to tell the healer person who's had that either um, stay away from the enemy or hang around this bit. Okay? So, yeah. Okay. Yay. At least not Sonic 06. Box feet sank in and then you die from hitting a rock. Like a tiny little rock and hitting his foot. Baby city window! Okay, let's um switch character real quick. Um, how do I do that again? Um, I think it's uh. Um... Hold on, you do it. You talk to him. Go to the um. Snap. Save. The... Oh, you just bought something that's the same. So, okay, I'll kind of signify their way of telling you you have the exact same weapon or something. Very vague. So I'm gonna go up to him, right? Alright. So it only tells you what variable you have if you um, have the thing equipped or whatever, you know what I mean? Or like you have the person who uses that weapon. Um, so this isn't like Secret of Mana where there's like a whole ton of different weapons you can just do some other stuff. This one's just kinda like, oh here's your next level weapon. You see right here in the top right corner how it'll say, that's where your attack is now, that's how it'll change. So this tells you you have the same one. Okay? So, yeah. Well, we'll probably have to go into this later. For now, I think we might as well just kind of... It's your inventory. Let me go to my inventory. Oh, um, okay. Um, here, I'll just open it up here. So, for this, I'll... I think if I hit select... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see. We have two stabs. I just saw one. Yeah. Alright, well, let's go back in and sell that one and get some money back. Oops, wrong okay. button! Okay. Uh, you'll get used to it. You see why I changed it though? Some of the stuff is like not something you would think. Up. Hit up, that's how you shift the menu around. Oh, so yeah, yes, that, yeah that, that's the staff. Because it doesn't display what you have equipped. Okay. Oh, I'm so good. You'll get used to it. I think it took me a little less because I had played Secret of Mana and I got used to the whole, you know, ring menu system. Okay. Yep. It's more done for aesthetics than practicality. Alright, well maybe we should stop back in and just stop there. We'll continue this later. It's running late. We've been doing craziness all day. Sorry you guys won't get many parts, but... We just can't do We have a lot of time constraints. School, yeah. you know, yeah. family problems, you know, we just have a lot yeah. of time yeah. She's stuck in her thumb! Yeah, well remember she's also naked. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Woo! Save game. And Alright. So I thank y'all for watching. And See you guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.